today we're going to talk about one of my favorite songs and music videos of all time. In my opinion, this is one of the best hip-hop collaborations ever, and by the way, this one might be a little PG-13, so parental guidance is advised. Very early on in the 2010s, there was an up-and-coming rapper with a name that is surely going to demonetize this video, so we'll just call him x -Squire. While he started his career in 2008, the Brooklyn, New York native really started gaining attention in June 2011 after he released the music video for his single, Huzzah. And while on its own, Huzzah is a decent song, that is not why we're here. We're here because on September 11th, 2011, Xquire released both his second mixtape and the music video for a remix to Huzzah, which was obviously titled The Last Huzzah. Take a look at the first few seconds of this, and we'll get a little recap after. So, just to break that audio down, x says the following. I'd, I'ma do a 40. Breast milk, you made my day. No, we had to do a remix, right? Take that, take that. You might be wondering why he said breast milk, you made my day, especially in that strange voice with the bottles on his fingers, and I'll do my best to explain. So, timeline-wise, it goes like this. In 1979, a movie called The Warriors came out. In that movie, a guy has bottles on his fingers, he's clicking them together, and he says, Warriors, come out to play. That's originally where the bottles on the fingers and the cadence of that da na 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 comes from. In 1994, the song and music video for the Flava In Ya Ear remix by Craig Mack came out. That song was huge, and it's one of the original versions of the whole rap remix with a bunch of famous rappers on it template. On this remix, we have most notably Biggie, LL Cool J, and Busta Rhymes. For the intro to the song, Diddy does the whole Warriors thing. He has bottles on his fingers, but he says, Bad boys come out and play. You know we had to do a remix, right? And finally, on a 2004 episode of Chappelle's show, Dave was making fun of Diddy's TV show Making the Band. While he was playing Diddy, Dave says that he only drinks breast milk, and once he drinks some, he clicks the bottles together and says, Breast milk, you made my day. So with the intro for The Last Huzzah, the cadence and the bottles clicking together comes from The Warriors. x is quoting Dave Chappelle making fun of Diddy, and x is using this because he's making a big remix just like Flava in Ya Ear. So they're mimicking the way that that original music video was shot too. And just visually within that intro, we get a preview of who's coming up on this song. We've got x Cool AD of Das Racist fame, LP of soon to be Run the Jewels fame, and yeah, take a guess of who that big guy is that's holding a gun to his head, and then the god himself, Danny Brown. First on the mic, we have a rapper named Despot, and he is a perfect way to open up this weird, goofy song and video. The opening line of his verse is, one vodka soda poured over four leaf clovers, and in the video he's organizing drugs and lucky charms, which is spot on for the mood here. His flow is good, his lyrics are clever, he continues toying with the whole lucky charms theme for a few lines, and honestly, looking back on how much I've loved this song for nearly a decade, and how much I do like this verse, it's weird that I've never really bothered looking up his solo stuff especially when you factor in that I became huge fans of everybody else featured on this remix. So, oops. Sorry, Despot. He closes his verse with yet another funny line where he pays homage to Tupac and the song Hail Mary. Don't beat him while he down or whatever his favorites will be. I ain't a killer, but don't kill me. Up next, we get Cool AD and Teams from Das Racist, and please, if you're a fan of my channel, I'm begging you to go back and check out some of the projects that these guys put out. Cool AD and Teams are two guys that are clearly super intelligent. They used to make some genuinely interesting social commentaries within their music, 
but most of what they would say would be absolute nonsense. They would have these insane references and goofy, goofy lines, and they would flow pretty well in everything, sure, but they would be goofy nonetheless. So here's a highlight reel of some of the great stuff that they say within this song. Here's Cool AD giving my favorite ad lib of all time. I love the game side. So now, this was a big moment for me. Danny Brown is one of my favorite rappers of all time, and this is the first verse I ever heard from him. And just put yourself in the shoes of 13-year-old me, who would eventually idolize this dude, and you see this man, and hear this as his opening lines. He's just the best. Throughout his verse, we get the usual, well, unusual Danny. He has a good line saying, like a stray bullet, you're misled, which is awesome. And then there's this one about him being about his bread, and if you ain't, you can roll. Try and stop that, and you'll get a bagel-sized hole. And yeah, you gotta love Danny. I bet that you think that you have this whole video figured out by now. You saw them making fun of Diddy, you saw them talking about Lucky Charms and Bob Costas and being the third coolest rapper on the song, and then Danny being insane, and you're like, alright. This is just a bunch of friends having a good time, but they're not taking this too seriously. What comes next is the first verse I ever heard from LP, and honestly, I'm not exaggerating, this is one of the best hip-hop verses I've ever heard. Absolutely ridiculous, top-notch lyrics from start to finish, and what may go over your head the first time you hear it is that LP counts to 16 within his verse. And I don't mean he counts 1, 2, 3, 4, blah, 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 no. Within his verse, he references every number from 1 to 16, but he does it in creative ways. For example, look at the middle of the verse. He straight up says seven continents, but then he says, just before they ate up the funds. Get it? Eight. Eight. And then we've got the government issuing nines, as in guns, and then he uses the word tend in the context of this line. Turn them off of these muttering zombie talk of pieces. But he's also continuing the pattern of counting by saying tend, which obviously includes the word ten and sounds like ten. It's incredible stuff. Xquire finishes off this great, great remix in rather plain fashion compared to everybody else, and there you have it. One of my favorite tracks ever. I'd argue one of the best rap collaborations ever, and it includes some all-time great funny verses and that one serious, technically remarkable verse too. And if you didn't know about this song, now you do. Thank you for watching that video, it's a song that honestly means a lot to me, as ridiculous as that may sound because of how silly the song is. It's been with me for a long time, and I want to keep it with me for as long as I can. If you want to support the channel, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on social media at RenshawHS, you can buy my merch, support my Patreon, and thank you again. I'll see you soon.